the prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. It is basketball action here in the Prep Zone. First round, and it's a district matchup. Slidell taking on Fountain Blue here at Slidell High School. <clears throat> They're going to redo the tip-off here. Josh Bailey and Lorenzo Caldwell. Rachel came down with it. Now to Remenick. Tipped away by Alfonso. <clears throat> Remenick dishing it out to Michael Willis. Three point attempt. Oh, hey, it gets stuck between the rim and the backboard. First shot of the game. So a throw in for Trey Alfonso. Alfonso, a uh, senior who's been a big part of this Fountain Blue basketball team since he was a freshman. Quickly back, led there, finger roll in, and the lay-in goes. Micah Willis. And Slidell leads 2-0. And a three-point attempt from Chance Treadway. Fed up to ball. Three-point attempt here for Slidell. And that one off the mark. Alfonso comes down with the rebound. Treadway. Here's Kasky from three. Sinks it. Willis puts this one up. Kasky comes away with the rebound. Alfonso quickly up to uh, Kuchi. Coming away with it. Kuchi wants to foul there. And uh, Caldwell going the other way. And they're stuffed by uh, Bailey, but the putback goes from Lorenzo Caldwell. Caldwell, the 6'4 senior. And uh, Fountain Blue leads 6-4. And uh, Bailey fouled there. We'll head to the line to shoot. Josh Bailey, 6'4", senior, averaging 13 points per game. There makes his first free throw. But Bailey, uh, a big-time athlete here at Fountain Blue, the four-year uh, four starter at quarterback for the Fountain Blue football team, was a starter as a freshman for, uh, for Fountain Blue in basketball as well, then took a couple years off from playing basketball, and now he's back here his senior year. That one through the hands. Bailey comes up with it. Alfonso looking for an option, finds Bailey. Bailey feeds it to Alfonso, and Alfonso's fouled. Foul called on Remenick. So this will be a throw in for Alfonso. That one hits off the front edge of the rim. Kuchi covered, looking for an option to pass to. Gets it out to Treadway. And they're going to call traveling on Alfonso. And 
stoppage. This will be a throw in for Slidell. Michael Willis with the throw in to Remenick. Three point attempt, Remenick from downtown is off the mark. Kasky reaching way up there to come away with the board. Bailey, spin move, it's stripped away, and now Bailey comes up with it and taken away once again by Slidell. Let's see what the call is here. It's a delayed whistle. And they actually call Bailey with the, a hold. So Willis with the throw in. 4.43 to go here in the first, and uh, Fountain Blue leads 8-4. Three-point attempt, sinks it. Clinton Ball from downtown. 6-1 senior. And that's gonna be a foul called on uh, Guidry. So another throw in for the Bulldogs. Let's see, loose ball. Who's gonna, oh, it rolls out of bounds. And that will be a fountain blue throw in on the far side. And Trey Alfonso bringing it up. Give to Kuchi. Pucci, a 5'10 senior, averaging 13 points per game. Fade away, doesn't go. Caldwell gets the rebound. And a, some contact there. Foul called on Treadway. Micah Willis will throw it in. Three, uh, 3.50 to go here in the first. Uh, Fountain Blue leading by one, 8-7. Three-point attempt here. Oh, rims out and Kasky gets the rebound. Here's Alfonso going the other way. Alfonso heads to the line to shoot. Trey Alfonso, 74% from the free throw line. Sinks the... First one. Second shot coming from the senior. Sinks it. Now slide L. Two on him. Slings it out and jumping in the way of it, picking it off his chance treadway. Quickly Alfonso kicking it out to Kasky. And they're gonna say uh, Kasky's foot was out of bounds. Ray Shaw has Bailey on him. Wide open three point attempt here, sinks it. Sean Eaglin draining it from downtown. He, he was wide open. Now stepping back, three-point attempt, drains it. Trey Alfonso from deep. Picking it off as Alfonso read that the whole way, kept his eye on the ball, coast to coast, slapping the backboard, and it falls. 13-10, Fountain Blue leading. And Alfonso will head to the line as he was fouled. <clears throat> and 
that one sinks. 15, 10, excuse me, 16, 10 Fountain Blue after that one. Wide open three point attempt here for the Tigers is off the mark. Caldwell gets the rebound, goes to put it back, it goes. Excellent job by the senior Lorenzo Caldwell. And we have a timeout on the floor. 2.20 to go here in the first. And Fountain Blue leads 16-12. Coming out of the timeout, Alfonso with the throw in. Here's Kuchi. Alfonso thought about it, dumps it off to Bailey. And they're going to call the foul on uh, Sean Eaglin. Yes, They uh, wet spot on the floor they're having to wipe up. Throw in from Alfonso, trying to swing it around the horn. Here's Kuchi. That one tipped away, and it's a uh, Clinton ball going the other way. Here's Caldwell. That one off the rim and out. Here's Tyler McGee. McGee needs an option to pass to, looks to get past Kuchi. Three point attempt from Caldwell is off the mark and Kuchi gets the rebound. Alfa zipped out, strong pass from Alfonso. Now here's Alfonso from deep. Oh, veteran move there. Veteran move by Josh Bailey. As he was going out of bounds, he felt his momentum going. He banked that ball off of Caldwell. And it's a throw in for the Bulldogs. Quick thinking from Bailey. This one up to Bailey. And that one off the mark, tipped away. And that time Bailey couldn't keep it in. So it'll be a throw in for the Tigers. <clears throat> Under a minute to go here in the first. Tyler McGee bringing it up. Oh! And stuffed all ball there. Renee Plaisance, the six foot junior. Good defense. Fountain Blue will throw in here. Plaisance sending it to Alfonso. Alfonso up off the mark. And they call Alfonso with the charge. So it'll be a throw in for the Tigers. 37 seconds to go here in the first. This with Rachel, and they're going to call Alfonso with the foul. So Rachel head to the line. You hear the rumbling from the student section as Rachel uh, drains that one. Typically, you make no noise when the home team is shooting. There they go again. The so free throw goes. He makes both of them. Interesting.
So it'll be Kuchi with the throw in here to Bailey. This one zip too high for Kuchi and it'll go out of bounds on the far side. So ratio subs in. A quick change there. Nine seconds on the clock here. Jumper goes. Clinton ball. And uh, Bailey just lost a prayer, and that's off the mark. So at the end of the first, it's a tie, 16-16. This is a good one here in the first round of the playoffs. Top of the second, throw in from a ball. Bounce pass up to Caldwell, riding the line. Up and over the basket, put back, doesn't go. Second attempt, stuff, and Caldwell, fifth time's the charm. Lorenzo Caldwell getting that one in, giving Slidell the 18-16 lead here in the second. Slidell wanted to travel there. Bounce pass up to Bailey. Three-point attempt, Kuchi off the mark and a collision there as that goes out of bounds. They give it to uh, Slidell for the throw in. <laughs> Driving up off the glass and in. Excellent job there by Michael Kuchi. Ratio off the glass is in. And Slidell reclaims the lead, 20 to 18. Kasky's pass, wow, excellent move there. Ratio went to pick it off, saw he was going out of bounds. Hit it off of a fountain blue player. And it's a Slidell throw in. Sinks it, ratio inside the arc. Bounce pass up to Bird, back to Cushy. Here's Gartman to Kasky from deep. Sinks it. Chris Kasky. Six four junior averaging 12 points a game. And it's a 22-21 Slidell leading here in the second. Now an up and in Michael Willis with the lay-in. Here's Kuchi. Rachel. <clears throat> Going the other way is Caldwell. No foul called there. Put back goes. Michael Willis once again. 26-21, Slidell with the five point lead. And going the other way, here's Michael Willis once again. Lofts it up, Kasky got a hand on that one to block it away. Oh, and they're gonna call Caldwell with the foul there. Five thirty-four to go here in the first half. At the line, 
Slidell leading 26-21. And uh, Michael Cucci heads to the line to shoot. It's off the mark. Rachel comes down with it. Tipped up by Kasky. Here's Kasky with an open lane. Off the glass and in. And that one taken away by Kasky. Going the other way. Off the glass, off the mark. And Michael Willis comes down with it. An excellent steal, though, from Kasky. Now subs coming in. Uh, Samaj Johnson and Josh Bailey checked in. As Bird and Kuchi come out. And uh, Slidell takes a timeout. 5.02 to go here in the second quarter. And Slidell leads 26-23. Coming out of the timeout, Remenick will throw in for the Tigers. Rachel driving. That one doesn't go, and Josh Bailey gets the rebound. He swarmed, looking for an option to pass through. Finds a lane, and he'll take off. Maybe coast to coast here. No. They're going to get Rachel with the foul. Bailey heads to the line. Bailey 58% on free throws this season. And that one's off the mark. And the second one's off the mark. Slidell comes down with it and it's Remenick bringing it up court. Three point attempt. Oh, kept in by Willis. Oh, Willis from deep drains it. And Slidell leads 29-23. Good move from Remenick, bringing it up. Up to Rachel, jumper, sinks it. 31-23 and Slidell is rolling. That's the, the stands on the other side knew it. And a foul called there on uh, Kasky. So Willis will head to the line. <clears throat> Willis sinks the first one. Second one's off the mark. <clears throat> Treadway up and in. Good job there by Treadway to put an arm up and block it down. Now it's a battle for the ball. It looks like Josh Bailey wins it. Gives it to Kasky. Kasky back to uh, Bailey. And a three-point attempt from Treadway off the mark. Alfonso now coming away with it. Put back from Alfonso goes. <clears throat> so Slido leading 32-27. Just over three minutes to go here in the half. Willis! from downtown. A 
here's Alfonso open from three off the mark. And this one lofted up. Alfonso comes away with it. No, swatted away with force. And that one off the glass, and he's fouled. Foul will be called on Kasky. And uh, Luke Gidry will head to the line, the 5'10 sophomore. First one's off the mark. And that one goes, Luke Gidry sinks it. Michael Cucci throwing it in to Bailey. Gartman driving bounce pass, too much on the bounce pass, but a foul called on Slidell. That one called on Trey Ball. So Gartman will head to the line to shoot. Gartman off the mark there, and uh, Robert comes away with the rebound. Rachel with the jumper. Round and in. Kuchi guarded by Remenick. Over to Gartman, bounce pass to Kasky. Give goes to Gartman. An open three from Plaisance off the mark. Gartman slinging it out. Zipped over, deep three from Kuchi, drains it. And 90 ticks to go here before the half. 38-30, Slidell leading. Yeah, and there's gonna be a foul called on Bailey. So Ball heads to the line to shoot for the Tigers. Sinks the first one. Sinks the second one. Forty thirty eight. Kuchi in the bird, nearly picked off by Remenick. Gartman. Swatted away by Kasky. Under a minute to play now here in the first half. Zipped out to Gartman. Kuchi from downtown. Sinks it again. Second time tonight from that spot. 40 to 33, Slidell leading. Ratio off the glass and in. Bounce pass to Kasky. Plaisance up. Slidell comes down with it. That one gets behind ball. Excuse me, Willis. So 
10 seconds, Josh Bailey checking back in with 10 seconds to go here before half. Zipped out, Plaisance. Ratio comes away with it. Here's one second. It'll be lofted up by Remenick. Oh, off the front edge of the rim. And at the half, 42-33. This is a good one here at Slidell. Top of the second half, Chris Casty will throw in for the Bulldogs. It's a uh, nine-point game. Slidell leading 42-33. It's been pretty fast-paced moving through this one so far. Let's see if they keep it up here in the second half. <clears throat> Kuchi to Kasky. Kasky looking for an option, dumps it off, has Bailey wide open. That one off the glass and in for the senior, Josh Bailey. Slidell, here's Remenick. Kicks it out to Willis. Willis has been hitting from downtown all night. This went up to Caldwell. Caldwell dumps it off, up and in from Cooper Rachel. Good patient ball movement by the Tigers. 44-35. Tigers, three-point attempt off the mark, and Kasky gets it. Up to Bailey, Bailey, lay-in goes. Kicked out to Trey Ball. His ratio. Caldwell can't get the rebound. It falls into the hands of Josh Bailey. Bailey lofts it up and in. And that one's off the mark. Kuchi comes down with it. Kasky. Good defense by Slidell, keeping him out on the perimeter, unable to work that ball in. Now Alfonso driving, kicks it out to the perimeter. Three-point attempt is off the mark, and it's ratio going the other way. And that one's off the mark. Caldwell, no put back. Goes. Trey, Trey Ball. Ball. Deep three attempt. Kasky off the mark. And that one taken away by Bailey. Kuchi from three off the mark. And that's going to be a foul called on Slidell. Called on, a, a, excuse me, Michael Willis. First team foul here of the second half. Alfonso looking for an option to pass to. Tipped up and back, and Slidell comes away with it. Remenick bringing it up court. Remenick, a two-sport athlete here at Slidell. That one's off the mark. Put back goes from Michael Willis. Have yourself a night, Michael Willis. My goodness. And Fountain Blue takes a timeout. 4.07 to go here in the third. Slidell leads 48-39. Coming out of the timeout, Alfonso with the inbounds pass to Kasky. 
48-39, Slidell leading. Here's Kasky from downtown. Remenick. Three-point attempt, there it is again. Are you kidding me, Michael Willis. Michael Willis is fourth three-pointer of the night. Now Bailey driving, bounce pass. Oh, and he is uh, swarmed and hit. You could hear the contact up here. The foul called on Michael Willis. Chance, Treadway. 51-39, Slido leading as Treadway heads to the line. Treadway, a six foot junior. Misses on that one. Second one goes from Treadway. Jalen Robert with the inbounds to Remenick. Tipped away by Kasky. That'll be a throw in for Slidell right in front of the uh, Slidell cheering section. And uh, Coach Green will take a timeout. 2.50 to go here in the third. Slidell leading 51-40. Coming out of the timeout, Willis with the throw in to Remenick. Quick pass, Caldwell with the dunk. Zoe Caldwell slams it. Bounce pass. Kasky. Tipped away, but back to Kuchi. Treadway. Kuchi up and in. 55-40, Slido leading. And that's gonna be a foul called on tre uh, Treadway. And man, a minute 55 to go here in the third, and that is the first team foul of Fountain Blue here in the second half. Three point attempt, drains it. Cooper Rachel has been on fire. Treadway to Bailey. Bailey with the lay in. Willis. Here's Remenick from deep. Treadway gets the rebound. And Treadway puts it up and in. Oh, they're gonna call the charge. The charge called on Treadway. So it will be a throw in for Slidell. Sixty seconds to go here in the third. And the lay-in doesn't go, rims out. Bailey to Alfonso going the other way. It's 
spin move out and trying to get it to Bailey there, but uh, off the mark on the pass. It's Rachel. Up and in, off the mark. Kasky gets the rebound here, 20 seconds to go in the third. Alfonso quickly the other way, up. And they're gonna call him with the charge once again. Remenick. Three-point attempt. Kasky gets the rebound. Two seconds on the clock. One. This one's launched. Oh, off the mark. 56-44. Slido leads. We're headed to the final stanza. Top of the fourth. It's a throw in for Slido. Tyler McGee. The inbounds pass to Remenick. Three-point attempt, sinks it. Tyler McGee from downtown. Bounce pass, here's Alfonso. Slido comes down with it. Caldwell, here's Remnick wide open for three. Treadway gets the rebound. Here's Kasky, sinks it from deep. Chris Kasky. 59 47, Slido leading here in the fourth. Heads to the line to shoot for Slide L. Second shot off the front edge. Zoe Caldwell tries to get the rebound. It's knocked loose. And it'll be a throw in for the Tigers. Off the glass and in, Remenick. Kuchi with the bounce pass to Alfonso. Kasky, here's Bird off the glass and in. Good ball movement there by the Bulldogs. Wide open for three as well as, and he's off the mark. Ratio comes away with it. And Ratio with the finger roll in. <clears throat> Here's Alfonso, lofts it up, and the basket goes. Willis to Caldwell. Ratio drives. And they're gonna head, Bur uh, Ratio's gonna head to the line to shoot after the foul is on, uh, called on Bird.
Ratio off the mark. Treadway comes away with it. Zipped up to Gartman. Here's Kasky. Give goes to Gartman. Alfonso driving, spin move, puts it up. Treadway got the rebound and then tried to put it back up and is fouled by Zoe Caldwell. So Treadway will head to the line to shoot for the Bulldogs. Sixty six fifty one Slidell leads and now sixty six fifty two. Second shot coming from the six foot junior Treadway. Sinks the second one. So sixty six fifty three Slidell leading here with four fifty five to go in the game. That's going to be a travel. to call uh, before the travel uh, they call bird with the foul and one Michael Willis will head to the line to shoot you heard it immediately he put that ball up you could hear it from the crowd on the other side of the gym saying and now we're having a discussion here Foul is called on Plaisance. Okay, so a tech, the foul is called on Rene Plaisance, but then a technical foul is called on uh, Michael Cucci. And the first one's off the mark. Oh, I see. Not on Michael Cucci. Excuse me. My apologies. Uh, the technical foul is on Willis, and so Alfonso gets to take the shot. Alfonso, second shot, drains it. 68-55, 4.48 to go here in the fourth. And it'll be a throw in for the Bulldogs on the far side. Alfonso into Chance Treadway. Zipped over to Treadway. From deep as Alfonso is off the mark. Slidell gets the rebound and it's Remenick taking it the other way. And that goes off the mark. So throw in coming for the Tigers. Lofts it up for Willis. Caldwell to Willis. Ratio up and in. Cooper Ratio. The reverse layup goes. And uh, Slidell has hit 70 points on the night. Deep three attempt from Treadway. Off the mark. Here's Kasky. And Remnant gets the rebound.
zipped over, hauled in by McGee. Zoe Caldwell with the rebound and the putback goes. Bailey with the fake spin move and in. Count the basket and Bailey will head to the line to shoot. The basket for 21, Cooper Ratio is second, 15 foot. Count the basket at the line for 24, Josh. <laughs> Bailey sinks the first. So Willis with the throw in. Slidell bringing it up court. And a timeout called by Slidell. So 72 58, Slidell leads. 2.45 to go here in the fourth. Coming out of the timeout, it's a throw in for Slidell. So the foul party has started. 2.43 to go in this one. So the foul party will last a while. Fountain Blue bringing it up. Alfonso. Off the glass and in. Josh Bailey with the lay in. Looking to split defenders. No call. Caldwell. McGee's put back. And this went into the hands of Kasky. Kuchi from deep. And Willis reaching up there, bringing the uh, ball down. Remenick to Willis. Wide open is McGee. And they hold it. The slide out, just running some clock down. Here at the end of this one, that was zip to ratio. Bouncing off the backboard, going the other way. Is Josh Bailey with the spin move. And Bailey will head to the line to shoot two. First one's in for Bailey. And uh, Colin Gagnon checks in, the six-foot senior, also a linebacker for the Fountain Blue football team. And losing the handle on it, Ratio, it's a battle for it. Kicked out, here's Alfonso, stuffed by Caldwell. Foul called on Remenick. So Gagnon will shoot, and uh, with a minute 27 to go and trailing by 11, it looks like Coach Randall again is subbing in seniors to play as this will be their last game. Um, and Gagnon there making a free throw. The bench area went wild for Fountain Blue. And that one off the mark. Trapped by Alfonso, and that's going to be a jump ball. Possession will go to Fountain Blue. And now checking into the game is, uh, well, no, they put a, uh, they put Kuchi in. Here's Bailey. 
The hook doesn't go. Willis to Remenick. <coughs> Foul called on Treadway. So, as, as I said before, uh, foul party. Minute 14 to go here in this one. And now uh, Chris Nichols will check in, the 5'10 senior for Fountain Blue, getting some playing time here in this playoff basketball game. Of course, the final basketball game here for these Fountain Blue seniors. It's been tremendous. I mean, Trey Alfonso uh, has been absolutely tremendous all four years for Fountain Blue. Uh, it's wild. He's one of those seniors that it, it seems like he's been around forever. And he has. That went off the hands of Kasky. Here's Kuchi. Has also been tremendous for four years for Fountain Blue. And you, thinking about where this team came from, I mean, the last two years, have been kind of down, and then this year it's been absolutely revitalized, and these players played through it and uh, fought through it and stuck with it the whole way. But an excellent job, Coach Randall Ginn coming in and working with these players to completely uh, turn around this program and revitalize it. And they're in the, in the playoffs here playing Slidell in the first round. Second shot goes. Foul called there. On the other side of the court though, you know, talking about Fountain Blue here, on the other side of the court, you have Slidell up 75-62. Uh, They're gonna advance here in the playoffs. The number nine team in the state a extremely talented squad, and let's see how far they can go here in the playoffs. Second shot, uh, or the first shot goes from Kasky. Second shot coming. Um, the Slidell will travel in their next game. This one's up to Remenick. And here's Zoe Caldwell! with the slam. My goodness, Miss Tipton, we're gonna need a new roof at Slidell. That one blew the roof off the place with the crowd. And 33 seconds to go here in this one. Slidell leading 77-64. It'll be a throw in from uh, Caleb Mike. Three point attempt off the mark. The rebound there from uh, Samaj Johnson. About 25 seconds left in this one. It'll be a throw in. Austin uh, Canale, <clears throat> the 5'8 freshman, getting playing time here in the playoff game. Three point attempt off the mark. And this will be a throw in for the Bulldogs. Nate Willis with the throw in. As the clock winds down, the rebound, put back, doesn't go. It's going the other way with the Bulldogs. About four seconds on the clock. 
Shot, oh, sinks it at the buzzer. That was uh, Canale. And we're gonna send our thank yous to those who helped bring you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Frank Javia, director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, cameraman, editor and coordinator of Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams. So from Slidell High School, where the Slidell Tigers defeat the Fountain Blue Bulldogs 77-67, my name is Grant Yenny. Good night. You are now leaving the prep zone.